This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Master Lock Magnum Model M530. This lock is a bit of a picking lightweight, only four standard pins, so we're going to have some fun today and open it in an unusual way. The tool of choice is a plumbing torch. Now that might seem a little bit odd for an all steel lock, since a plumbing torch simply can't deliver enough BTUs to melt it. So what I'm going to do is take this apart to show you what I have in mind. And since I don't have a key, we're going to have to pick it open. This has a normal master lock keyway. So I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. One is loose, so is two. Three is binding, got a click out of him. Four is binding, got a click there. Back to the beginning, nothing on one. Two, click out of him, that should just leave number one. And we got it open. As I said, not a difficult lock to open up. Okay, let's take this guy apart now. We have a Phillips screw down the shackle hole. And let's see if I can get one more piece out. There we have it. Okay, what we have right here is the actuator. This is the piece that resides between the two ball bearings of the ball bearing locking mechanism, and it appears to be made out of cast zinc, which of course has a very low melting point. I think that if we heat up the outside of the lock body, we'll be able to melt this piece and that will allow the lock to open. So I'm going to put all of this back together and then we're going to head out to the garage and see what happens. Okay, the lock is back together and we are down in the garage where I have the lock situated in a vise over a bed of rock salt to catch any hot parts that might drop down. I have the plumbing torch ready to go, so let's see how long it takes. I'm not expecting this to be a fast process, probably at least a couple of minutes. Okay, so that seems to have worked just as expected. Let me get a pair of pliers so we can lift that lock up and I can show it to you. Okay, there really isn't a whole lot we can see here, but I'm assuming that the actuator melted and that allowed the ball bearings to move in and we opened it up. So. Usually on most locks, you would find that zinc part made out of brass, which has a much higher melting temperature, but it looks like Master Lock tried to save a few cents on this lock, and because of that, it opens it up to a new attack. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.